بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وی آر ڈسکسنگ لنگ کیپٹیز ڈفرینس بٹوین ملگنٹ اینڈ بنائن لنگ کیپٹیز ہی وی ہیو ٹو سیٹی ایمیجز دس از اسکویمسل کارسینوما وی کین سی دیر از ایریگولر thick walled cavitating lesion noted in left upper lobe and this is an example of uh, pulmonary tuberculosis where we can see there is cavitating lesion in left upper lobe difference between these two lesions are here we can see this is thin walled cavitating lesion while here we see irregular asymmetrical wall thickening of this cavity which is hallmark for malignant lesion here we have seen very thin and smooth wall cavity in the left upper lobe which is noted in benign lesions number 2 we can see scattered tiny nodules in peripheral portion of this cavity while there is evidence of associated perilesional consolidation but these peri cavity are perilesional finding that is consolidation and nodules cannot be seen in malignant lesions so there are three findings number 1 irregular wall thickening which is noted in the malignant lesions number 2 there is no perilesional consolidation and there is no nodules around the lesion but in the case of benign lesions that is in tuberculosis we can see there is thin walled cavity number 1 number 2 perilesional or pericavitary areas shows consolidations and centri lobular nodules so these are features noted in benign lesion that is tuberculosis here we have seen an article in clinical radiology solitary lung cavities ct findings in malignant and non malignant diseases by cs nen where there is summary showing the ct chest images are valuable tool for the characterization of solitary lung cavities the maximum wall thickness and the presence of centri lobular nodules or perilesional consolidations are the best criteria in distinguishing malignant and non malignant underlying conditions at ct the most appropriate cut off value that indicates malignancy and benign nature of the lesion are in malignant lesion we see there will be irregular wall thickening and wall thickening will be more than 24 mm while in the benign lesion walls will be smooth and their thickening will be less than 7 mm Similarly, in benign lesions, we will see perilesional consolidation and centri lobular nodules. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.